Hello my people and welcome back. We're going to be making some origami today. Can you guess what we're making? Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. Quinn is unfazed <laughs> by my jokes today. It's just one of those days. Don't y'all feel it? Where it's just kind of like meh. It's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. Happy Monday. We're going to share a little bit more love today because it's a Monday and because we're all feeling it. I made this for you. Just because I love you. <laughs> so my friends, all you're going to need is a square piece of paper. Please remember that if you don't have origami paper, it's not necessary. You just need a flat sheet of paper that you can turn into a square. Uh, watch our first video on origami if you want to know how to take a rectangle sheet of paper and turn it into a square. With that, we're going to get started. Do you remember what the first step was, Quinn? We got to do our two diagonal folds, right? So I'm gonna come across and create a big blue triangle with my blue piece of paper and crease it evenly from side to side. I'm then gonna open it back up again and I'm gonna do the same thing, but on this portion where I take this line and make it touch itself up at the top. Make sure the sides are as even as you can get it and creasey crease. We're gonna open it back up again. And now what we're gonna do is really different from anything we've done before. I'm gonna lay it so that it's a diamond and we're gonna take the top corner and we're only gonna fold it down to the very middle point. When I found the center, I'm gonna come up and crease all the way across on both sides. Make sure it's nice and flat and even and our point is touching the center. This part is really different. We're gonna take the bottom flap, and, but instead of making it match, we're actually gonna bring it all the way up to the top and touch it to the center of the line and the very end of the piece we just folded. We're then gonna crease across. Kinda looks like a blue cannoli right now. I'm not gonna eat it, I promise. Mm -hmm. All right, so after we've got it like this, we're actually gonna take this bottom edge and fold it up so that it lines up directly in the center, which is gonna have this fun pop-up happening up top. It'll start to resemble a heart, I believe. So. I'll bring it to the very top and crease it all the way to the edge. I'll do that again on this side so that you're not so confused. I'm taking this bottom line and I'm bringing it up to the middle. So I'm taking the bottom edge and I'm folding it up to that center line and creasing it all the way across. Looking great, no cheese. Next, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side where I bring it to the center and I line it up. I line it up. And then I creasy crease. Ba All right. Ba ding. Now, we've got to turn this over so that we can get our heart looking a little less like, you know, those hearts from Zelda and more like a, a regular shaped heart. So the first thing we're going to do is take the top tip and fold it down behind to touch the bottom edge or the top edge of this blue line. And the same thing here. We're going to fold it down, touch the top edge, and crease across. Pretty fun. Last but not least, we're gonna take the side edge and pull it across this way to crease another little triangle. So we've got two triangles hanging out on this side. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, folding the triangle in, creasing it across. And now for the big reveal, are you ready? Dun, kind of da 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 da! Like... A heart! Turn it around real quick. Mm -hmm. It looks like his uh, face and it's trying to hug you. He's got little arms. It's a T-Rex. He's a T-Rex. <laughs> I've got little arms. Can't hug you very well, Quinn. I can't hug you very well, but I'm going to try. <laughs> so there's our heart. Super fun, super easy. And something that I love, too, is that you can actually make a flower shape by putting four hearts together. And then one in the middle. Just for good measure. <laughs> or a leaf down below, Quinn. I like that you made a green one. All we need is a line up the middle to make our flower. Put a diagonal and a leaf stand to out. It. Oh, perfect. She found a pencil. Boom. Beautiful. B E A U T F U L. What? I just spelled beautiful, but I didn't spell the whole thing. I got lazy. Double gutter. Tigger. That spells tigger. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, for our origami fun. Tune in tomorrow for another drawing challenge and more origami. Thank you from the bottom of our art. We'll see you later.